Hey everyone, in this video we will cover how to install the Compass 2.0 programming software. Please be aware that we are not IT professionals and that your PC may be configured differently than others. If you are unsure at any point in this video, please contact an IT professional. For the purposes of this video, we will have the Compass Installation Wizard also install SQL 2012. After downloading and extracting the installation files from my Webtech, you should have two folders. The base installation is labeled CD Files SQL 2012, and the update is labeled PUR 22314. The numbers at the end of the update file will change with future versions. Open the base installation folder CD Files SQL 2012. Within this folder, you will have an executable named Compass Setup. By default, it should automatically run as administrator, but if you are unsure, right-click on the icon and choose Run as Administrator. Next, the installation wizard will populate and guide you through the installation. Click Next. Read the EULA carefully, and if you accept the terms, choose that option, then click Next. You will then be asked if you are installing Compass as a standalone, server, or client. A server installation will house the database, and other machines with a client install will pull from that database. On a standalone installation, you are telling the PC that the database will be housed locally and accessed from the same PC. For the purposes of this video, we will choose a standalone installation. After making your selection, click Next. Now, you will select the install location of Compass 2.0. You can leave the file path at default, or click Change if you wish to adjust the location. When you click Next, a window will pop up verifying the file path. If it's correct, click Yes, then Next. Lastly, choose whether you want the installation wizard to create a new database, if you will be migrating a database, or if you are using an existing SQL database. Since SQL is not installed on this machine, we will be creating a new database, which will also install SQL 2012. After making your selection, click Next. Verify that the installation information is correct, then click Next. The installation wizard will now install SQL 2012, along with the base install of Compass 2.0. This can take a while, so please be patient. If the installation was successful, you will get a pop-up indicating such. Click Finish. To install the update, simply open the PUR folder and run the executable. Again, you may want to right-click and run as administrator. After the installation and update are complete, you can launch Compass 2.0. As you saw on the download page for Compass, the default username is master and the default password is also master. If you want to check your current version against an available upgrade for My Web Tech, simply use the Help drop-down in Compass 2.0, then choose About. As you can see, the Compass 2.0 version is the same as the PUR update we just installed. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.